Red Bull hosted their 22nd annual Flugtag event Saturday in Long Beach. The first Flugtag was hosted in Vienna, Austria in 1991. The aspiring aviators launched from a 28-foot-high flight deck into Rainbow Harbor. CSULB was represented by the tenacious team Viaje de los Muertos, a team made of members of the CSULB Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers. We're comprised of different regions across the United States, and we're part of Region 2, which, is, uh, which includes Arizona, Southern California, and Nevada. And so our mascot for our specific region is a phoenix. So we're like, okay, uh, let's go ahead and show our organizational pride and just go with the phoenix. Second of all, I also want to talk about our Hispanic heritage. So all of us in the organization are Hispanic, and uh, we would like to um, identify ourselves with the Hispanic culture. So we went with the Day of the Dead theme. And so we're like, okay, how can we combine this together? So we decided to say, okay, Day of the Dead, Phoenix. Phoenix, rise from the ashes, Day of the Dead, it's like we're living, or like we're the walking dead. So uh, we tied that in together, and uh, that's how we got El Viaje de los Muertos. Many special judges attended the event, including Carson Daly and the cast from Comedy Central show Workaholics. So can I ask you, what's the most important criteria for judging today? Um, stay hydrated. And also, former Destiny's Child member Michelle Williams sang the national anthem. Would you ever do fluke tog and jump into the water head first? Uh, I mean, I'd have to have like all types of floaties on because I don't want to go down to the bottom. I have to learn how to swim much. I got to I gotta really swim. I got to really, you know, and then those guys that did the skydiving thing and they came in, I said, you know what? When I have to be dead and gone, which would be a long, long, long time away, Absolutely. that's how I want them to bring me in to where my funeral is going to be. That's your last That'd wish, to fly in? That'd be first. That'd be, like, who does that? I, I like it. You're going to do it. You're going to be the yeah, first, first to do it. Be. Yeah. What would, your, what would your team be? What would your float be? What would my float be? A, a nice, because I'm hungry, I would say a corn dog. <laughs> Is it, could that, could that be a corn a dog? Flying corn dog? And then with the ketchup on top, somehow, we'd have to put ketchup and mustard like on top. That. Is that some, cool? Some peach, some like uh, ketchup and, and yellow streamers, you know? Yes, I like love that. it. I like Is style. that cool? Yeah. All right, sponsored by Oscar Mayer. Right, there you go. <laughs> the CSULB team made a valiant effort, but was unable to place, possibly due to the competitive nature of this year's flug tog, with a world record flight of 258 feet being set by the team Chicken Whisperers from Palo Alto, California. The CSULB team recognized the flaws in their design and are already thinking of ways to fix the problem. So in the back basically there's an elevator flap, the little mini wings in the back. Originally we wanted to be able to control that, so in case it went too high because of the wings being too high, um, up or more lift than you need, it'll stall out just like it did. So if we were able to control it to make it negative, it would have been able to balance itself back out and just slowly glide down. Wow. Yeah. So what do you think about the world record? I think that's awesome. It kind of just blew us out of the water. I mean, it, I don't even remember what number. I think it was like the second competitor and just instantly, oh, the world record's just gone. And then a couple of minutes later, somewhere else around the country, oh, the world record's gone. So in a way, I'm kind of like, I don't even want to try the world record because it seems like it's going to keep breaking. But I don't think anybody else made as much of a spectacular show as we did. So. In German, Flugtag means fly day. Over 100,000 people came out for the event to witness life on the edge. Reporting from Flugtag in Long Beach, Virginia Rangel, Daily 49er TV.